Sure. Okay, so welcome to the webinar. A risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Okay, you guys uh, know all this here, bookmap.com, uh, et cetera. Uh, if you're, if you don't, um, you know, you can go to bookmap.com and you can log in, uh, and, um, uh, all the, you know, go to the education tab and the features tab here and, uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, or, uh, and, or subscribe to us here, uh, for, um, for YouTube and, uh, all the playlists are here. Okay. To get you, get you uh, familiar or review, uh, anything in, uh, in bookmap. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's let's zoom out here. Let's get our uh, uh, indicator on here as well. We get the cumulative volume delta here, uh, and uh, uh, some things to uh, to uh, look at here. Uh, and uh, we see um, uh, oil is kind of going back and forth. Uh, some nice structure stuff here. Uh, we can see, and we got the figure here. And look at that line of uh, heavy liquidity up here at the figure. That's usually the case, to be honest. Uh, but um, uh, at the, you know, the half figure and, and the, the the figure, the round numbers is usually where you're going to expect some trading. All right. Um, so. Uh, all right, our, our process here. So usually uh, we, we take a look back and, and step back and look at higher time frames and just kind of get an understanding of highs and lows. Uh, so let's let's do that, uh, and we're going to look at oil, uh, and we can see uh, here uh, what uh, what's going on. All right. So let's look at a few days here, uh, and let me make this bigger. Okay. And I just want to gauge uh, understanding, and we can see some buyers stepping in here. Uh, we can see the um, uh, 4.30 this morning, uh, Eastern time, okay? Some some heavy buying, or maybe a little bit earlier, uh, came in and, and pushed price up, and we are now in a range up above uh, and accepting uh, above 49.64, uh, okay? We can see we had two retests here, or a little bit more, uh, and um, uh, we found buyers down here, all right? Uh, and uh, so we, we are back up again uh, into this range. All right, so uh, that seems to be the uh, the case. Uh, I'm interested in the high. I'm I'm interested in the the uh, the figure here at 50. Uh, we also have maybe uh, 50 um, 43 as a, a recent high, and then uh, maybe some of the swings down here like 49 uh, uh, 12 or so. But uh, more specifically, 49 45 or I guess around 49 50. That's where we found the buyers. So let's step into Bookmap. All right, now. First things first, when we show up to the auction, uh, uh, what uh, what we first want to know uh, is where are the majority of the participants, okay? So we want to know the, the uh, um, what's the condition here uh, in, in, the, uh, in the market, right? Uh, and um, so we uh, just look for that high liquidity, right? And um, uh, we can see here at uh, 49.81, some pretty high liquidity. Uh, let me adjust my... Uh, Yeah, that looks a little bit better. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. Um. Yeah. Here at uh, 81, we can see some uh, some liquidity uh, on the uh, on the on the offer, uh, and then we can see that uh, down here. Well, they they started a pull at 65. Uh. So uh, and they're down here a little bit lower at at 60. And then ultimately uh, down at the half figure, down at, at 49.50, right? So uh, no surprise there either. Uh, but um, wicked move here, nice, nice trap, very nice trap uh, uh, below that 49.50, uh, and um, uh, you can see that uh, just uh, you know a, lo a lot of support here in the limit order book as well as some aggressive buying, and off we go to new highs. Um, so um, uh, anyway. Uh, the participants uh, we've already identified. We see a lot of algorithmic activity going on as well, kind of moving uh, price back and forth here, uh, as you can see. And then, and then they jump out of the book, and then they jump back in on the on the offer, etc. All right. So uh, anyway, uh, those are kind of some of the levels uh, we want to just uh, uh, outline here and get an understanding of what's going on in the auction. All right. Uh, and um, uh, Next, uh, we want to know the context uh, of these participants. OK, 
okay, and their intent to trade. All right, so uh, we can uh, we can see here uh, that um, uh, this was a this is a, a very this is a really nice setup. Uh, in fact, uh, this is something we cover, and uh, uh, let me show you where. Okay, in uh, the book map education course. Okay, there's part one through four. Uh, and um, in part three, one of the setups we look at uh, is exactly this, right? Now, what it is, is um, we have a trading range here, right? Uh, we have a break of that trading range, okay, into this higher liquidity down here. We kind of, they, they start to pull, okay? But uh, uh, then we, uh, we see uh, a retest back to where we broke from here. Right, and we see high liquidity as well. Right, and uh, look at the uh, the number of trades that took place up in this area here. Okay, uh, not very many. In fact, this is uh, exhausting out. Okay, there were uh, six six trades that took place up here. Okay, six transactions, and there and here they are, right right here. Right, or I'm sorry, volume of of six. Okay, so very little. Uh, and um, uh, it's basic. We're not finding a market here, basically. Uh, there are no. There's no more buyers. Okay, the buyers are starting to dry up, uh, and we rotate back down uh, to um, uh, find uh, the buyers. Okay, and uh, we don't really find them. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of sideways action here, but we continue to see selling pressure and in control, and we can read that in the dots. Right. So anyway digressed a little bit let me go back to the intent of trade all right uh the uh, uh we can read this uh, uh these guys uh although they pulled at the last second this is longer term liquidity that stayed in the book okay uh and um uh and they're still here okay at 81 right so uh, we we identify uh uh that they have that intent to trade at the moment okay when when price comes up and tests them, uh, we will really be able to gauge their intent, right? Uh, and um, uh, do they mean to to uh, to trade or not? Okay. So, for example, look at this high liquidity here. Now, this there's a little battle going on in this area right now. Um, it's look it looked like this was going to be shorter term liquidity. Okay. It's not. Uh, in fact, they stay in the book. And uh, God, I, I just, it takes too long to explain. Due to them staying in the book here, okay, and look at this area here, okay, they're, they want to trade, okay, their intent here is to trade. They want to be buyers at this price level of 49.72. We can see they're staying in the book, okay. Some, some pulled, a, a little bit pulled right here, but the majority of this liquidity, these 219 contracts, stayed in the book. Right, one one uh, tick lower, 209 contracts, high liquidity, two levels, staying in the book. Right, they they want to absorb price. Okay, they want the, they want in at this level. Okay, that uh, is that intent to trade. We have gauged it now. When this type of activity occurs, I'm looking for the next area to get tested, and. And now we can understand our 4981 area. Do they have the intent to trade? Let's zoom in here and let's answer that. Okay. We can see that some of it did. Okay. And then they started to pull. Right. And they pulled and they're now at a little bit higher, a tick or two higher. Uh, and um, and, th and that's, uh, that's what unfolded here. Okay. So we see some volume that traded here. Uh, we see the cluster of volume. Uh, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, but... Um, uh, the uh, their their intent uh, up at this level here is uh, is kind of murky. Uh, I, I would say this is clear down here at 49.72. Okay, we we know that we know this is fact. Okay, these guys up here, ah, uh, you know, uh, here they they wanted to trade, not anymore though. All right, so they started to pull, and um, uh, we can see that uh, uh, they're still, uh, eh, you know, they're kind of flashing back and forth in here uh, but uh, I think the the bulls here have have um, uh, the uh, the power at the moment right uh, and um, uh, why do I say that well just by putting the context of I'm not even looking at the traded volume yet uh, 
I'm just looking at the context of the auction and understanding the intent of these traders. Okay, uh, and, and here we go. I mean, they definitely are in, in control here. All right, now uh, that happened um, before, <laughs> I didn't say it, uh, but that started to unfold when, when uh, we were looking right around here. Okay, or at least I, I was. Uh, this is what keyed, or you know, uh, keyed me into it, right? Uh, and um, uh, and then understanding now that they're starting to pull here. Okay, uh, I, I'm looking for exactly this: uh, big green dots, aggressive market buys, uh, sweeping the book, uh, pulling price higher, and they want to come up and test 50 now. That's the target here. Okay, that longer-term liquidity that stays in the book. Uh, is a target. It acts as a magnet, right? Why is that? Okay, uh, it is because that longer-term liquidity uh, is where the market knows it can trade. Okay, the value, it, it, you know, is determined in a trend. Uh, it's it price is uh, being or the value of of that instrument is being determined where a lot of where those liquidity areas are. Okay. So um, uh, anyway, uh, the um, that shorter term high liquidity though, okay, that distinction in all these little areas in here, um, you know, they're pulling, they're they're uh, they're adding, uh, and uh, you can see a, a lot of algorithmic activity within these areas here, uh, and um, uh, that uh, does usually uh, it, they do not have the intent to trade. Okay, when they start to stay in the book uh, is when they when they have that intent to trade. Now, this high liquidity that jumps in here very quickly uh, repels price usually, and it makes sense. Okay, using auction theory, it repels price because it, it jumps in here very quickly, and it skews the auction. Okay, and let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, we're going to see it here. Okay, right here. Okay, we at 49.72. Uh, we we see. Look at the bar here. Okay, 227 contracts. And as I scroll forward, okay, we come into 188 contracts here. Okay, so we and 133, one tick above that. Okay, there, there's a skew here in the auction. Okay, there's more buyers than there are sellers. Uh, that uh, there's more demand at this level. That is new information for the market, and the market usually adjusts to it. Okay, uh, and um, uh, anyway, uh, so you can start to uh, uh, anticipate uh, uh, some of that uh, and start to understand uh, how, how price uh, may, uh, with a higher probability, may react with the uh, uh, that high liquidity that jumps in and skews the book, all right? Okay, now the other higher liquidity here that stays in the book for a long time, it's already been digested. Market understands, it can trade there, all right? So that's uh, that's the distinction between the two, all right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, Amazon, you wanna look at Amazon later? Um, Francisco, I, I may have to hold off on Amazon. Uh, may, maybe we'll have time a little bit later. Um, and uh, you want to look at some currencies as well. I only have the euro up. I do not have uh, the, the British pound. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, Richard, uh, two questions. Uh, line three, the bottom of the chart for delta. Uh, what are these lines? How can you explain delta? Okay. Um, uh, this is the advanced webinar, uh, so um, I don't want to delve uh, too deeply. Unless you guys have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, but everyone is uh, usually pretty pretty familiar here with uh, the cumulative volume delta uh, indicator that we have in the subchart. Okay, what this represents is is a, it's accumulation of the volume, uh, and uh, it just it it's a very simple uh, indicator, but it get, it can give a lot of insight. Uh, and it, what, what will, uh, let's say a, a market buy occurs for a volume of one. Well, your cumulative volume would then change. It would, it would be plus one. Okay. Whatever the previous uh, record of it, it would be plus one. Okay. Someone comes in and buys 10. Okay. Now that would be plus 10. 
All right. So altogether, the accumulation of, of our trading period would be 11 now. And now if, let's say a seller comes in uh, for um, for uh, five. OK. And they uh, aggressively. Uh, this is now this is these are the aggressive orders. Right. Uh, so uh, the market sell for five. So we have 11 minus five. Now, now our cumulative volume is still positive, uh, but it's six. Okay. And how that can be helpful? Well, you can start to understand absorption, uh, exhaustion extremely well uh, using the cumulative volume delta. Okay. In bookmap, you can also just see it so visually without even uh, looking at the uh, cumulative volume delta. All right. Uh, you can just see it right here. Uh, and you can start to understand the context here, uh, whereas this, uh, you know, didn't really give us much of a signal, right? And we don't see a lot of absorption, uh, but they, they definitely had the intent to trade. There's no question there, and we can see the reaction. We still haven't tested 50, but we might get the rotation now. Uh, and um, uh, let's, uh, let's see, this is where that initiated buying took place, right here, right where we are right now. Okay, so we need to see if they're still interested here at 49.80. Okay, at the moment we're not seeing it. Okay, they're still here though down, the liquidity is down here. Right, and let's see, we might get the, uh, what we're looking for, if they're still here, we're looking for the skew in the book, and that's already happening, it's happening right now. Right, and now we need, we need the aggressor to show up, show up to the party. Okay, and we want to get above this little swing here, and we want to we want to see um, uh, some very uh, aggressive uh, big uh, market buy orders, or in contracts. All right, uh, and uh, they'll they'll sweep uh, all of these price levels up into that higher area of liquidity. First stop would be uh, 49.90, and then the figure here at 50. Okay, okay, they're being aggressive in the book. Okay, no question, but the the uh, the aggressor has not showed up yet. All right, that's one scenario that might pull, uh, uh, happen here, okay? And, um, uh, you know, the, the, we might get the uh, uh, something else, but at the moment, that is, the, that is the scenario that looks more plausible, okay? These guys are kind of, um, f uh, you know, putting the, uh, raining on the parade a little bit here at 86 and now 87, showing high liquidity, okay? So, uh, but in this area here, it was clear. Right, high liquidity skewing the book uh, and um, uh, and getting very aggressive here, stepping it up, and it's got to be the same player. Look at when they pull, they add to another level, pull, add to another level up above. Okay. So you can start to read the algorithmic behavior here, uh, or the larger players how they're how they're playing. Right. Okay. We can also add on our indicators. Uh, and start to look for some iceberg orders in some of these areas. Uh, but, um, uh, okay, so I'm looking for, I'm still looking for it here. Let's see if they, uh, they, they show up. Not, they, they, they didn't, we didn't see any follow through here, but we're getting another rotation. Let's see it. And let's see if these guys get stuffed here uh, on, the, uh, on the offer or if they just pull and just uh, try to just jump out. All right. Okay. So just putting the, the pieces together, reading the context. Okay. What about some of these swings down here? Okay. See some. Now let's go over the transactions. Where are they taking place? Okay. This will give us insight to uh, uh, the potential uh, uh, movement of price. Okay. That's where traders are committed. And that's why I'm looking for here, right here, uh, for the buyers to show back up because they were here previously. All right. So are we going to accept in this new range here above this um, 4980 level? Well, that's the question. All right. Now, uh, we uh, right now, uh, still that, that scenario might uh, play out of um, a skew in the book and the, uh, the aggressor shows up here. Okay. Uh, and... Um, But other than that, I mean, high liquidity is at 90 and at uh, 74, All right? So 
uh, that's that's th these are the facts, and this is what we know right now. All right. So um, I, I am starting to read uh, a little bit of a skew here to the upside. I see a little more volume starting to trade up in these areas. So uh, a lot of times, um, what we look for in the trending environment is uh, the um, uh, transactions at higher areas, higher highs. Okay, and then we get more price discovery to the upside uh, if that is the case on the lower. Um, uh, or the higher lows in some of these areas, and you see it kind of uh, a lack of trading. It, the, the market doesn't like trading here, right? We don't see much liquidity, uh, and we also don't uh, see a lot of uh, transactions, all right? So uh, based on that, uh, we start to, uh, uh, you know, anticipate uh, that uh, uh, another test uh, and then uh, potentially discovery uh, to the upside, all right. Okay, and uh, you see lots of nice little wicked things happen in some of these areas here, uh, and um, uh, you know some traps to the to the downside just kind of break some of these lows, uh, and then uh, uh, immediately move right back into the range. Okay, so let's. Um, I want to cover a more range-bound uh, strategy, uh, and. Um, uh, let me find a good range. I mean, this is pretty micro level here and uh, we could, we could use it. Um, but, uh, it's not going to be the clearest example. Uh, but, uh, you know, a, a lot of you guys trade with, um, uh, indicators or, um, you know, some sort of understanding like, like here, uh, you know, we our, our cumulative volume Delta. Uh, is uh, is showing that there was a little more selling actually uh, in this area here. Okay, interesting. Uh, it actually did make a lower low, so uh, I guess it's not that uh, not not that surprising. Uh, but um, anyway, um, but we're trying to get, gain insight here to the commitment of these traders and and the uh, the auction here, uh, uh, the um, the intent. Okay, our scenario, it, 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 there was uh, the lack of the um, uh, buyers, okay, they, they just didn't show up, right? So um, now we're, uh, the, the aggressive sellers uh, are, are taking the price down here, okay? This would have, this is hard to, to see. Uh, I, I don't like it. Um, you know, this usually happens in the afternoon. It, it gets a little harder to read um, and, um, uh, you know, because I'm not seeing uh, that, that commitment. Uh, that we do earlier on uh, in some of these areas here, okay? So just like yesterday, basically. Uh, but um, uh, you know, uh, and it gets really trappy too. So that that trap is is uh, is set here, is potentially set right here, right now, okay? That um, and we, we we're still looking for the same stuff, uh, skew in the book, and those aggressors to show up in the uh, you know and and lift the offer here, okay? And um, they're starting to show. Right, and then these guys here, they're going to be trapped. Okay, so um, we're back in the range. Okay, I'm looking for it now. I'm really looking for it right now. Okay, let's see those aggressors. Okay, this is, uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, they 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 potentially have it here uh, if they want. Okay, because we've got the trap to the downside, and uh, looking at some of these uh, this nice little range here. There's going to be some liquidity up here. Uh, or, you know, there's going to be some stops up in this area here. Uh, and uh, there's going to be a lot of buying. Okay. Anyone that sold the breakdown here. And uh, no, still still not showing up. Okay. So uh, anyway, um, let me go over this example. Like I said, it's, it's not the clearest example, but it, I, I want to keep an eye on uh, the live market as well. Uh, the uh, breakdown here. Right. So, and and why I'm looking for this now to uh, to test to the to the high side. All right. Um, and uh, let me let me cover that. Okay. It's getting interesting. It's getting interesting. Um, okay. So let's draw on the chart here. Uh, and um, uh, okay. So this is our trading range here. Okay, here's a break of that trading range, and we come back into the um, 
uh, right back into that range. So price rejected here very clearly. It rejected. All right, uh, and um, uh, the um, we see there's a, there's actually it's not the clearest example, but there's two microstructural levels here uh, that uh, we're, we're looking for, right? Uh, and uh, we see one of them here, okay, and we see the other one right here, okay, this little cluster in this area here, okay, and um, uh, the uh, uh, that's where I'm actually looking for the buyers to show up yet again here to see if they uh, they do, okay, so. Uh, uh, and 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 so far so good, but um, we're just we're just kind of battling back and forth here. Um, so uh, if you guys are looking at some sort of indicator uh, down at these levels, okay, and you're you're looking at range bound strategies, uh, I would uh, I would recommend looking at some of the microstructural areas here, um, and then understand when they um, uh, they trade back into uh, the range. Okay, so it, it wouldn't, I mean, you would be kind of flying blind here uh, if you're entering at some of these areas because you don't know how much uh, supply there is or how, how, how the aggressors, they may they may continue on, okay? Uh, but once we come back into the range here, uh, then, uh, uh, you know, and let's say your indicator, okay, you have uh, uh, some, some sort of signal here generated by your, uh, by your indicator, Okay, and uh, we might have something here. Okay, there's our low. Okay, and um, yeah, not 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 really, not really, nothing uh, nothing too interesting uh, on the CVD. But let's just say you did get some sort of uh, indicator reading uh, down in this area. Okay, but we still don't know, right? But once we see the shift in the order flow. Okay, and what we're looking for in that shift of the order flow uh, is the, um, uh, the 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 move back into the range and the aggressor. Okay, we're looking for the uh, uh, the buying uh, to to pick up in this area, and uh, this is a uh, this is where I know this is detailed, uh, but look at the exhaustion here. Right, we see you can see the uh, the buying starting to to show up here. Okay. And uh, we do not come back down uh, into this low here. In fact, we have nothing trading here, not, not a single contract. And it tests twice. Okay. There, there's a, a, you know, a, a pretty good signal for looking for that continuation. Right. And when we got it here, I know that, you know, it's not that interesting. Uh, it's not a lot. It's a, a 10 cent move. Uh, but um, uh, nonetheless, this is going to play out on the, uh, on the higher time frames as well. Okay, so starting to combine in a strategy, uh, and uh, this is just one of many, okay, but uh, you can start to integrate order flow within your strategy, okay, start to understand uh, uh, this rejection here, uh, get your, your some of your uh, signals from the whatever uh, trading methodology you're using, uh, and then we see the shift in the order flow, all right. Okay, let me get to some of the questions here, uh, and um, let's see, because we have a lot, which is great. Keep them coming. Uh, this is this is what these webinars are for, uh, to get you guys uh, uh, understand the advantages that uh, the the tool is showing, and how to integrate order flow into your trading. Okay, because this is going to be an, this is an advantage here. Okay, there's a couple setups we went through. You know, this one was real nice too. Okay, now this is, you know, we're not looking at big moves here, but these show up on the higher time frames very clearly. I can demo that. Um, uh, you know, we, we can uh, uh, start to um, understand, for example, you know, I'm zoomed out here. Here's 9 o'clock, cash open. Uh, look at the drop here. We return back into this area right here, uh, and we get one more drop. Okay, where does it drop to? This little cluster right here. Uh, maybe you want to be a buyer if you think that uh, we're continuing to the upside, and uh, and indeed it did, right? So now we're starting to look at volume uh, profiles, uh, etc. Et uh, here's some divergence. Here, here's here's a nice uh, divergent um, um, divergence in the year cumulative volume delta here. Okay, we made a lower low, okay, uh, in price, uh, but look at how there's less sellers here. 
okay, and the cumulative volume delta. More sellers here at this um, higher low. At this lower low, we have um, less sellers. So there's a little more buying pressure in here, right? Well, there you go. There's there's your signal. Let me go over this setup. There's your signal, okay? And then uh, let's let's look at this. This is exactly the same thing we were looking at before. Exactly the same setup, okay? Our move to the downside, nice cluster of volume here, and then this microstructure broken. Okay. Now, do we accept above it? And uh, yeah, we do. And in fact, uh, look at them. Th these are those, uh, oops, sorry. Let's go back here. Boy, yeah, we're just range bound here. Uh, let me go back here. Ah, hold on a minute. Okay. Okay, same exact setup. Okay, so you 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 you've got your divergence, but you don't know if there's still more sellers here yet. But when the order flow shifts here, uh, now you have now you have some really good insight. We're above this structure, uh, we're accepting, and then look at them here in the order flow, staying in the book, absorbing. They want to be buyers here. Okay, actually they did pull right in this area right here, uh, but. Uh, you know we're we're accepting and then uh, you can see the uh, the aggressors come in in this area here and pull price up okay all right so same same thing uh, but um, I hope that's helpful uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, let's see okay Yeah, I agree with you, Francisco. Yeah, uh, that that 50, 50 area. I'm I'm still targeting it um, longer term here, uh, but um, uh, at the moment you can see that we saw this initial breakout here during the webinar, uh, and then we come right back into the range. And I was looking for that 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 buying right here uh, again, and it's holding. But uh, you know, I, I thought by now we'd probably get up here and test it again. You know, but we haven't. Uh, it's just been in this range. All right. Um, yeah, exhaustion and delta um, is is pretty simple to uh, to evaluate. Um, so um, you know, let's look at this little area back here. Okay. Um, I mean, you just got to think about it. Like, um, you know, that uh, you know, if we see um, um, some selling. Let's go back to that original example. Okay. Well, and this isn't necessarily exhaustion uh, on the retest down here. Okay, but we we do have a um, a higher um, higher reading, um, and um, and then up in this area here. Let's zoom in there. Okay. Well, what we're looking for uh, on the on the retest uh, is your uh, your cumulative volume delta to um, uh, remain high, okay? And uh, and it is, okay. Um, so and and you can just read it in these little points. I, I find it easier just to read read these points and read read the uh, the clusters of of the the volume. You know, is there more buying than selling? Uh, more aggressive buying than selling? And um, uh, you know, just read the uh, the size uh, of these dots and uh, the color. Okay, and I know that sounds kind of wonky. You can look at, you can roll over these areas and also get exactly what traded. Okay, you can also put this within your trading range and look at your volume columns and know exactly what traded. Okay, in fact, let's not split this out. Okay, and our profile here also shows a little bit of a uh, you know distinction. Okay, we're looking for we can see more trading at a higher area, and uh, it's a little more we can see just by the size here uh, a little more uh, uh, buying than selling, but it's rather equal. Uh, but uh, down here, we have 12 contracts traded uh, at this area here, and that's from back over here. Okay, 
So actually three traded here. That's it. So there's your numeric values for those of those. Those of you guys, uh, wonky, not wanky. <laughs> um, so um, uh, the um, uh, you can see the uh, uh, the lack of uh, selling activity here. All right, it's exhausting out. All right. European session closing. Yep. Thanks, Homera. Uh, let's see. Okay, Richard, any more questions on that? Uh, you want to go over some settings on the uh, on the cumulative volume delta? You know what? Um, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to go over that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to show you where you can find the video. Okay, features and components. Let's click on that playlist and uh, browse through here, and um, we will see the cumulative volume delta. Where is it? Correlation tracker. Cumulative volume delta. Okay. And I'll put this into the chat for you. There you go. And let's move on and take and continue to look at uh, uh, at price here. Okay. You'll find it up here under studies configuration and then cumulative volume delta. All right. Here, if you want to take a screenshot of my uh, my screen, there, here it is, of my settings. Uh, it, you know, I have it very basically set up uh, because I want to show simple examples. Uh, but man, there people have done all sorts of crazy things. Um, I've seen like you know seven or eight uh, cumulative volume delta studies uh, within this area, and it, it's great. I mean, traders can really um, uh, you know uh, play around with it and uh, uh, look for very specific things with larger contracts that are trading compared to smaller contracts that are trading. Getting insight to the type of player uh, playing. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, any questions? Uh, didn't really get the most uh, out of this uh, little session here. It just see uh, it's turned into a really big profile uh, instead. And um, you know, we can we can still see though if you want to go over your volume profile and and, and market auction theory. Uh, very easily, uh, you know, our, our first process here, or one of the processes you can you can uh, you can do, is when you show up to the auction, find out where the majority of those participants are, and in this case, it's you can see responsive buyers are interested down here, responsive sellers, uh, they're up here, and it's right in between the majority of this big here, this big uh, profile here, okay. Yeah, Homera, sure. Um, you want to look at it again? Uh, here it is, cumulative volume delta. It, it really, really simple. Uh, I don't have any filters on it at all. I just have it for chart range. So the the, the it'll make uh, it'll output the um, uh, uh, chart range of what I see here from a cumulative volume delta. Okay. Um, you know, you can have it reset. For example, uh, you can have it for the session. Okay. And I'm going to get a different reading now. Okay, it's, it's making that accumulation for the entire session. If I have it for chart range, this is going to change based on my chart range. It's new data here because I zoomed in and out. And I zoom in and out, you're going to get a, a new calculation. All right. So that allows you, though, to really home in to some of these areas and understand what's going on here. All right, looking for some details uh, in some of the microstructure. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. If there's no more questions, um, and um, uh, we will uh, we'll continue on tomorrow. Okay, we have a non-farm tomorrow, so uh, you know we're gonna have some fireworks at 8:30 Eastern, uh, and um, uh, see what uh, unfolds after that. Maybe uh, maybe we get a good good trending day. Uh, and um, uh, you know, see a lot of a uh, lot of volatility. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah. Take care. Have a good day, and uh, we'll catch up tomorrow.
Uh, you're welcome.